This your boy, Ross Taps for this bitch, you already know, you already know. Alright guys, today I'm going to talk to you about classics, modern classics, older classics that I really want to see on 4K Blu-ray. These are my opinions, these are ones I'm looking forward to. There are no specific order, except maybe the first one. So let's just get on with it. Number 10, No Country for Old Men. God damn, that movie was amazing. You know when you got a crazy haircut. Shit's about to hit the fan. He had a crazy haircut in Skyfall. Guess what? He was bad as hell in that. He's bad as hell in this. Sinister. One thing I think about when I watch that movie is the gas station scene. That shit was chilling and funny at the same time. This movie needs the 4K treatment. HDR. See more strands of hair on his hairstyle because of the 4K? God damn. Okay, now some of you are probably gonna roll your eyes up with this one. And that is the title. The more I watch that bitch, the more cornier it gets over time. And I don't care what no one says, Leonardo DiCaprio could have made it on that plank or that door, wherever the fuck it was at the end. I don't give a shit, it could have happened. I know he wasn't supposed to survive, but shit. They could have made the door more narrower at the end. That's what I'm gonna say. Number eight, LA Confidential. Another great movie, a crime drama thriller. Kevin Spacey, well shit. I shouldn't be mentioning Kevin Spacey, I guess. Once again, great set pieces. Kim Basinger or Kim Basinger or whatever the fuck her name is looked a that bitch. A number seven. Kaiser Soze, usual suspects. The movie itself looked very gritty. I think it would benefit greatly with 4K at least. That's a movie that's a classic deserving of 4K treatment. Number six has already made his debut on the iTunes 4K. And that is Heat. Heat's another classic shit. I want to see Robert De Niro sitting opposite Al Pacino in 4K. I want the Dolby Atmos, the gunfire. That had a damn near perfect sound mix on the 1080p. Bring that shit over Atmos, that bitch, on 4K. That's what we need. The Shawshank Redemption. Let me ask you something. I'm a big fan of Morgan Freeman. Has he always been old? He looked old there. Shit, it's like he got old. Didn't stop aging since that point. Another really good film. Great set pieces. It was a colourful movie from what I remember. And I think the HDR will just push it over the edge. It needs the treatment. It's a classic. Number four, Quentin Tarantino's Pulp Fiction. Do I need to say anything about this? This movie's a cult classic. Brought John Travolta back in the game. Uma Thurman as well looking A1 in that bitch. A1. I want to see Uma Thurman in 4K in this bitch. All the great scenes I remember from that, I want to see in 4K. I do, I do. Number three, only because stylistically I think it's a bit amazing. And that's Raging Bull. The vicious, vicious boxing in that movie. I mean, I think a Logan, the, the noir version, looked awesome. And I think sometimes black and white will definitely highlight details that you wouldn't have noticed normally. And it's a classic movie and I want to see it in 4K. Raging Bull. Number two, Jaws. I watched that movie so many times I can't even, I can't even give you a number. Classic movie. I want to see the ocean in 4K. I want to see the shark in 4K. I want to see a young Richard Dreyfus in 4K. Forget how good the movie is. It just made you feel like you were really out there with them. And with the 4K treatment, it's going to be even more immersive. Number one. One of my favorite movies of all time. Definitely in my top 10 list. And I got a feeling this movie is just going to look phenomenal in 4K. And that is Fight Club. God damn. The color palette of this movie. The mood of the movie. It's dark, it's gloomy, but it's colourful at the same time. And, and it's gritty as well. With Brad Pitt wearing them yellow gloves, I want to see what the HDR does with that shit. It's got the potential to look like a reference quality disc. What are your classics? Give me your top 10 or your top 5. Tell me what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let's talk about it. Alright guys, you take care. I'm going to catch up with you soon.